Hi, and welcome to the Sage X3 session, Help, I've Opened Too Many Fiscal Periods, the period closing utility to the rescue. So you've opened too many fiscal periods. Well, we're gonna check out the period closing utility, also known as U-T-I-C-L-O-P-E-R. And the first question we're gonna answer is why does it matter if periods are open anyway? We're gonna look at period statuses. We're gonna look at using the utility and alternatives to the utility. So why does it matter if the periods are open? Well, periods must be open to accept the transactions. Well, we want revenue and expenses to be recognized in the period when the revenue was earned and the expenses were incurred. We don't want transactions posted accidentally to the future or past so that the revenue and expenses aren't in sync anymore. We don't want transactions posted to periods that have already been reported to management, investors, and auditors. So what are fiscal period statuses? While well, period statuses allow us to control into what periods data can be entered, which is important from an accounting standpoint. A fiscal period status can be not open, and that means no transactions can be entered and no transactions have already been entered into that period. Open, transactions can be entered. Closed, no further transactions can be entered into that period. Let's take a look at a few items about fiscal periods. The fiscal year must be open before fiscal periods can be opened. Periods must be opened in sequential order from earliest to latest. You just can't pick random periods to open. Now, if a period is accidentally opened, you can't just undo it. Now you might think, well, can I just close that period? Well, no. Closing also must be done in sequential order from earliest to latest. And this isn't going to work in your too many period scenario. And in that scenario, you want to go from the earliest to the latest. However, we do have the period closing utility to help you. It returns open periods to not open status. It can only be done on periods where there has been no activity. So what you see here is fiscal year three, that's FY 2022, with January, February, and March open. But I really only wanted to have January and February open. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to look at the period closing utility to help me. Now the period closing utility is found under financials utilities closing. And it can only move a period status from open to not open. And the change can only be made from newest period to oldest period. And the utility can only be used if there has been no activity in the period. Okay, so now we're ready to head over to the utility. Now first, let's take a look at the periods before we do that. And we can see NA10 has January, February, and March open. Now we're going to collapse all. It's easier to maneuver with that collapsed. We're going to go to financials, move down to utilities. Then we're going to go to closing. And we're going to go to period closing. We're going to put in our company, which is NA10. And then it populates for us 
which period it's going to move to not open. And again, you can only do this one period at a time for one company at a time. So we'll go OK. It tells us period closing, company NA10, fiscal year 3, period 3, legal. OK. So now we'll leave here. and head back up, collapse all again, head back up to common data, general accounting tables, periods, and now you'll notice that March now says not open. Now you're probably wondering, why do I need an alternative to the period closing utility? Well, remember, if someone has already entered transactions to the period, the utility can't be used for that period. But we do have parameter options to set transaction start and end dates to limit the periods that people can enter transactions into. You can find these under Setup, General Parameters, Parameter Values, Chapter TC, Group CLO. Now, see the Online Help Center for more details. There is also a stock status under periods. And the options are open. Transactions can be posted. Balance adjustments, this means only adjustments can be posted. Or closed. Now again, this is only for stock transactions. See the Online Help Center for more information on these options. So, are we ready? We understand why it matters if a fiscal period is open. We know what the period statuses mean. And we are ready if we open too many periods. Thank you all for joining me. Until next time.